Sir Clive Sinclair has launched his latest consumer toy. It's a revolutionary battery-powered tricycle, and it has engines from washing machines and can be ridden by anyone over 14 without a license. But some say it'll lead to accidents. The doubters call it a plastic hip bath on wheels, a menace to all road users. Sinclair believe their C5, Britain's first mass-produced electrical car, will revolutionise town travel. Well, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very compact um, car-like vehicle, the horses for a, but a single-seater, um, aimed at all the family from 14 years upwards. So it can be used for commuting, for shopping, or for going to school, for trips around town generally. To coincide with today's launch, Sinclair demonstrated the C5 on private roads in Berkshire. The three-wheeler has a top speed of 15 miles an hour. You steer using handlebars down by the seat. Its battery-powered engine, made by Hoover, is adapted from their washing machine unit. The C5 costs £400. By law, anyone over 14 can drive it. It's actually easier to drive than a bicycle. The real beauty about this machine is you don't need road tax, insurance, you don't need a license, you don't even need crash helmet. But there are obvious disadvantages. The tiny C5 is dwarfed by other traffic. The driver is also exposed to car fumes. Its critics predict chaos on the roads. The idea of 14-year-old kids taking these things on the roads like today, no license, no insurance, no training, no seatbelt, no skid lid, no protection, frankly horrifies me. Despite the critics, Sinclair hoped to sell 100,000 vehicles in the next 12 months. Paul Davis, News at 10, Berkshire.